channel guy so it's Tuesday it's been about a week since my last video apologize for that but I've been sick I've been anxious and stressed out with events here in Germany that transpired over the past few days so I apologize no videos have been posting consistently for the past month now but just know that I'm a little bit preoccupied here in Germany so just know that before you judge me and say Spencer's not posting consistently where is he at he's gone from YouTube no I'm not just know that I'm stressed out and anxious about some things that just happened here in Germany so relax a new video is live right now. But what exactly are we talking about in today's video? Because this is part two, not part one, of how to save money and never pay for soccer boots, soccer cleats again. In part one, this is posted back, I wanna say, in April, so it's been about six months. But in part one, I kinda of described the process of returning boots and how to save money, but the second process I'm gonna teach you guys is how to make money with the same return process. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and I'm about to blow your guys' mind. All right, so we're the computer guys. I'm gonna teach you the process of returning the boot and then making money from the return process. So if the people have already seen part one, bear with me for a few minutes here as I teach the people who haven't seen part one the return process, and then we'll dive into the process of making money from that return process. Got it, got it, good. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer here. So the key words when it comes to Nike claims is just Nike claim. So Nike claim, not shoe claim, but Nike claim is the two key words that we want to recall and remember for the rest of our life because it's very important in order to return boots to Nike. So Nike claim is the key phrase, key word, key whatever the heck you want to call it. So hit that link and this is the page that you'll have to fill out when it comes to your actual return process, claim process. So I'm going to fill this out right now and talk to you guys about some tips and tricks when it comes to actually maximizing your true potential when it comes to Nike claims. So after you, if I can type, after you submit your claim to Nike, it'll either be denied or accepted in a week's time. So about a week, it'll be denied or accepted. And if it's denied, it'll have a red dash on the white tag on the inside of the actual boots. Now that means that your boot has been denied by Nike. Now you can easily put a black marker over that red dash and submit it again to Nike. Very, very easily. So that's a process that I do all the time is just put a black dash over the red dash and Nike doesn't know the difference. So you have five returns, um, I'm gonna blank out my phone number there. You have five returns per person per household. So you in essence have 20 returns per household if your household has four people in it. So in essence, you can use your dog, your mom, your dad, your sister's name in order to return boots. So it's five returns per name per household, but you can easily do all your names in your household if you wanted to. So. You can just say that there is tearing on the inside of both boots. That's what I say always and it works. And you want these boots to return and not uh, recycle. So that's very important right there is to not hit the recycle button and hit the return button if they are denied. So after that information is, uh, is complete, you wanna hit agree and you wanna hit submit or confirm. So that is how you create your claim. And after you check your claim details, you can just print this out and cut out each section. So very, very easy and very simple when it comes to creating your claim. So this is where I stopped in part one and kind of described the process of returning the boots and how you don't really have to pay for cleats ever again if you implement this process into your life, which is true. Like you don't have to pay for cleats ever again if you have a torn pair of boots, in essence. So. Nike doesn't require you to have a receipt for your return. So that made me thinking about how I could start buying used cleats for my teammates. So I did that for about two years, and then I decided to start looking online to buy used cleats online. So this is where the process is about to get very, very prosperous for us. So what I decided to do was go to eBay and look for used boots on eBay. So. You want to look for hypervenoms because the hypervenoms are very, very oversaturated when it comes to eBay. Search for that and we'll find some used boots when it comes to the Nike Hypervenom Phantom 2. And we want to go down to pre-owns and just look for the colorways that are at least two years old or less than two years old, essentially. So 
I can tell that these are not in the span of two years because I actually bought these back in 2016. So if you guys know the colorways, you don't have to ask questions when it comes to knowing if they're two years old or not because you'll know when they came out based on the colorway. But you can easily ask this seller if they are two years old or not by the tag, the white tag on the inside of the boots. So just ask if they're two years old. So I would just say, I have to sign in, but just say are the boots or what date does the tag say on the white, um, on the white tag on the inside of the boot? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And the reply in like in the span of a few hours. So that's how I did it. And I would buy used cleats on eBay. And trust me when I say this guys, I bought a lot, a lot of cleats and I made a lot of money by doing this. So if I bought, example here again, if I bought a pair of used boots for 50 bucks, these are worth voucher wise, retail wise, 275 bucks. So shipping is 12 bucks. So 62 bucks, I would make around 210 bucks off this one pair of cleats. Absolutely insane, absolutely insane. But no one's taking advantage of the system when it comes to Nike claims and Nike returns. So again, with these claims, with these returns, you don't need a receipt. So you can buy as many cleats as you want and return them to Nike as long as you have five returns per name per household. But if you have a lot more names in your house, you can use all your names in your house essentially to get like 20 returns per house per year. So that's how I did it for a good four or five years with Nike claims. I would buy used cleats. But then I decided to look for new cleats because Nike was overproducing the Hyper Venom Phantom 2. And there's a lot of new boots that are the same price as used boots, which is absolutely insane. But there's brand new boots. This is back in 2016. There are brand new Hyper Venoms 2 online on eBay going for like 60 bucks. Brand new and worth around $275. So you wanna look for the high top, this ankle support, for all of your claims if you're buying used or if you're buying new, which I'll talk about buying new here in a second. But again, don't look for Magistas or Vapors or Superflies because it's a very undersaturated market on eBay. So they're very expensive. When it comes to Hypervenoms, they're a very oversaturated market online right now. So you can buy them cheap and you can buy a lot of them. So again, I'll go into eBay and look for Hypervenom Phantom 2, but go into brand new cleats instead of used cleats. So we'll scroll down and go into new without box because without box is always a little bit cheaper. So new without box and we'll see what our results come up with. So again, brand new cleats from Nike are going for 60 bucks and they're worth $275. Absolutely insane, but that's how crazy people are when it comes to selling their cleats on eBay and not returning them. They are brand new though. So how do you make money from brand new cleats um, by returning to Nike saying that they're used and abused and torn up. Well, your first option is to have your teammates wear them. So I'd buy new cleats and then give them to my teammates who have the same size and have them use them until they're abused, essentially. So that's option number one. Option number two is to artificially make your cleats look like they're old or torn up, essentially. So slice and dice until you get your desired result, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna dive into that because, you know, for obvious reasons, but slice and dice until you get your obvious results for those brand new pair of cleats. So after you buy your six, seven pairs of brand new cleats and you buy them for say, seven pairs of cleats for 50 bucks. So you buy seven pairs for 350 bucks, you can easily make $2,000 off those returns. Absolutely insane, but the ROI on returning cleats is through the roof and it's not being taken advantage enough through players like me and you who know the game and know the system and know how football works and the colorways and whatnot. It's kind of hard if you don't know football, but it's something that can be learned pretty easily if you spend the time to master cleats like I have. So that's kind of the return process, guys, and it's something that's, again, not being taken advantage of enough, taken, taken advantage of, taken advantage of enough when it comes to cleats and returning boots to Nike. So again, I'm just gonna to touch on the process one final time so it just gets ingrained in your head. So again, looking for Hypervenom Phantom 2 boots that are less than two years old. And again, if you don't know, just contact the seller directly on eBay to figure that out. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So again, Hypervenom Phantom 2, either used or brand new, but as of right now, brand new is kind of the way to go on eBay. And look for the ankle support and not the just old fashioned cleat. The support is better because it's worth more money, obviously. So look for the ones that are worth $275 
and those are the cleats that have the ankle supports. And just find a colorway that's less than two years old, and I can tell that these right here are less than two years old. And I would bid on them, or I would add to carts, or I would try to negotiate with the seller. So that's something I always do is just contact the seller and see what their lowest offer or lowest selling point would be and just kind of haggle with them a little bit because chances are they're going to sell them for a tad bit less than what's they're currently listed at so send some messages out and uh, contact the sellers directly but if you guys have the same mind that i do which hopefully you guys do but if you don't that's okay but if you guys can look at listings on ebay and just look at those as dollar signs dollar signs money in my pocket money 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 that'll really open your mind when it comes to making money online because it's not as hard as most people portray it as and this isn't really a common way to make money online. Like there's a lot easier ways to make money that I've learned. I don't even dabble with these return processes anymore because my time is worth a lot more than just returning cleats. But when I was younger, like this is just like the ultimate way to make money because it's football related and you're making a substantial amount of money. One final note is that you can't sell your voucher on eBay. So I would either sell the voucher to my friends and have them purchase merchandise from Nike directly or buy something that's high value on Nike and then sell that on eBay. So a good product to buy with your voucher when it comes to making money from your voucher is to buy technology. So Nike now has, since last year, Nike has iWatches, if I can spell. So you can easily return. You can buy, let's see the cheapest pair of cleats here. You can buy two pairs of cleats valued at $275. So a total of 550. And I'm gonna try to find a prime example for you guys just so it really sticks in your mind how simple this process is. Um, all these are over two years, I can tell just by the color. But going up to the one camo one that I saw before, uh, where are you, right here. So find two pairs of these. So say the total value of these, let's say was $190 for a pair of two, all right? Because a total would be 90 times two would be 180. So let's say you bought them for 90, you bought two pairs, so 180. Shipping's um, to return them is like 20 bucks for both of them. So you're in 200 bucks. But if both those vouchers are accepted, you would have a watch, a $500 watch for 200 bucks. So you have 150% ROI on your investment, which is absolutely insane in this economy. So that's the power of this return process, guys, is you can make like a 200% ROI easily. Um, in a span of a week, if they're accepted, deny, just send them back again until they're accepted. Like you can just keep on sending them back until they're accepted. It's not that difficult to just keep on sending them back. But just make sure that they are used and abused or they look like they're used and abused and just follow the steps like I kind of described and you guys can make a substantial amount of money through this process. So that is part number two, guys. If you're confused about something in the process of watching this, please just stop and watch it again because it's a very straightforward and simple process. Like it's almost laughable how easy it is to make a 300% ROI on your investments. Like honestly, if you find boots that are cheap enough, you can make a 300% ROI. And in, in this economy, that's almost impossible to do. So please just stop and watch it again. If you're confused about something, if you're not grasping a concept in the video, just stop and watch it again. It'll do you wonders and you'll eventually grasp it. All right, so please just implement this process in your life. It will change your life dramatically when it comes to a financial standpoint. It changed my life when I was in college. Like I did this for a good, maybe two, three years in college and I made an incredible amount of money. I don't just talk about something and not do it. I back this system up fully. I'm gonna toss some pictures on the screen right now for you guys to see how many boots I bought at one time and how many boots I was going through weekly when it comes to buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and returning. The process is so straightforward, guys. It's almost laughable. So please, if you're not already doing it, consider implementing it into your life. It'll change your life dramatically. But on a different note, guys, I'll be creating a second channel on YouTube that's kind of based around center rounds. The same talking points we talked about today, not returning boots to Nike, but making money online. It's called Project Money Mastery. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. I'll be posting on that account very, very soon. And those videos will dramatically change your life from a financial standpoint. But as always, guys, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, help support the channel, comment, like, share. And as always, I'll check you guys in the next vlog. Deuces! Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care